Hello and welcome. I'm Michelle with Phoenix Flow Art. So today we continue our series on doing a new pour every week in the month of August. So today I'm going to try my hand at doing a bloom, the Shelly Art Bloom Pour. So I've never done a bloom pour before. So again, this is my first time. So we start our bloom with adding pillow paint. Pillow paint is the same thing as flooding your canvas canvas for uh, a Dutch pour. So you're using house paint and you put a thick coat of house paint on the canvas and that pillow allows the colors to glide across the canvas. So here I'm putting my first color on. My first color is um, dioxazine purple followed by a gold. Then I'm gonna use a greenish yellow. Then I put more purple on. Followed by a neon pink. And then in the center of that is a cell activator. Now the cell activator is what creates all your cells in a bloom pour. So you put that, you put your colors on with your pouring medium, and then you go ahead and put your cell activator on top. Then you blow the cell activator and the colors across the canvas. Usually people just blow with their mouth. However, I just chose to use a hair dryer and all the cells came up. So then you just spin the artwork. Well, you can just leave it like that or you can spin it to try to get a composition that you like. And since this is my first bloom, I should have just left it there. Um, but I really didn't like that white in the center. So I decided to add more color to the center. So I added the purple, the greenish yellow, and more cell activator. Sorry for my hair, got in the way. And then I just go ahead and blow it out with my mouth since that was just such a small area. However, I should have stopped earlier. I don't like that I, I don't like the composition anymore. Before I just didn't like the whiteness in her, but now I really didn't like the composition. So I'm trying to figure out what can I do to make this better. And what I determined was nothing. <laughs> so what I end up only, what I end up doing is tilting it a little bit to see if um, I can get it to stretch. I spun it some more, but pretty much that's the composition. So I learned a few things. One, um, you can change the color of your of your cell activator so it's not white in the center. Two, once you spread it out as I did, it's probably not the best idea to continue at that point in time. Um, so the, again, this is my first time. So it's a learning experience. So I am gonna do a bloom again because I did enjoy it and I think it has a lot of potential and I have seen some really nice blooms. I just need to work on my technique and understanding of it. So just wanted to show you, it doesn't always come out the way you plan or expect it, but you got to keep trying. And every time you do, you will learn something. So the next time that I do this or try this, I will think more about my composition as well as um, if I'm going to have a color in the center, what color I would like that to be. 
So here's the dried result. Mm. 